Well, well, there's the Statue of Liberty. Won't be long now. <laughs> The old White Star liner is sailing on her last voyage, en route for Jarrow and the shipbreakers, but there is no send-off. She had a wonderful war record, sinking two enemy submarines and carrying thousands of troops in safety. They called her the Old Reliable. Now her days are done, and away she goes, reliable to the last. Crowds wait to see the Olympic arrive at the end of her last voyage. <laughs> The 46,000 ton liner is on her way to the ship breaking yard and brings it. The Conti di Savoia, new 48,500 ton Italian liner, and the world's first Sperry stabilized passenger ship, approaching New York Harbor on her maiden voyage. <laughs> The Connie D. Savoia, sister ship of the Rex, passing Lower Manhattan skyline for the first time. Sailing day is 
a gay day for a white empress. Towering over her tugs, she's a stately but happy ship as she eases her way into the clear St. Lawrence stream that will carry her to the sea. Eyes on Montreal's shoreline follow her every graceful move. The Queen Elizabeth speeded up her turnaround by 24 hours for the occasion. The two captains are old friends. The traditional brooms will go up if she beats the record both ways. We don't know what the Queen Elizabeth can do. She's never had a crack at the record, but there's no question of a battle of the Atlantic. Reports... Nearly three times that of its predecessor a century ago. qui m'ont donné en me permettant d'accéder à ce commandement. Dans la plupart de ces escales de croisière, le France reste en rade. Sie ersetzt den ursprünglich unter diesem Namen fahrenden Ozeanriesen, der im vergangenen Jahr bei einer Brandkatastrophe im New Yorker Hafen verwüstet wurde. Reda Bitch Christensen ist mit dem Erfolg seiner außergewöhnlichen... neun Monate und kostete 5,5 Millionen Dollar. Die Idee war einfach. Man verdoppelt die Passagierkapazität. So let's hear what the Enrico Costa has to say about that. channel while behind us another classic the SS Seabreeze the former Federico Sea of 1958 followed suit
Avec les ombres si pures, la mer, bergère de Le pavillon du pèlerinage vient de se déployer à côté des couleurs françaises, pendant que, attention délicate, le camion de la radio française qui accompagnera les pèlerins est hissé à bord du navire. Long live your great president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Ein Luftschiff bringt den ersten Willkommensgruß. Dann läuft die Gripsholm über die Toppen geflackt in den Hafen von New York ein. Maschinenschaden auf hoher See hatte der neue französische Luxusdampfer Flandre auf seiner Jungfernreise. Mit 20.000 Bruttoregistertonnen ist...